All right, so this next tool is very interesting because it, it allows you to form geometry without adding a bunch of edges. And how it works is, first off, I'm going to grab all my edges around the outside. And I'm very lazy about this, so I'm only going to grab an edge from every, every side like that and these two. And then I'm going to just do uh, edge loop, two edge loop and it's going to grab everything around the outside edge too. So I'm leaving, I'm not grabbing these two edges because I want this to be a nice form here, um, but I want all these other edges not to collapse in on themselves in um, ZBrush. So eh, maybe these two too. So it's going to look a lot like a very smooth form and it's going to divide well. Okay. So here is the Edit Mesh Crease Tool. And once you get the crease tool activated, you middle mouse button click and drag. For those Mac users uh, that need to assign their middle mouse button, you have to assign it within the preferences. So I click and drag this all the way out until it reaches like three. Three is about the hardest you can get. And that thing I just mentioned, because everybody will ask me where that is, is under mouse. <laughs> Primary mouse button three, secondary button. Make sure those are activated to use the crease tool. All right, now let's go back to GoZ with this part. So I'm going to go back to object mode. And you notice it has like a harder edge. It has this thing, it's an imaginary line. So when I do delete higher here, because it took off the properties of uh, the previous one, so I wanted to get rid of that, and divide it up, well, look at that. It has a, a good form to it, got good topology, and um, I didn't have to add a whole bunch of edge loops. Now, another thing that's really nice about this, let's say if I delete lower on it, and later on I need to reconstruct subdivide it, I can do full reconstruct all the way back down. Okay, If I had inserted edges on the other side, for instance, and I didn't get them in even proportions with each other. In other words, in odd increments. I could insert an edge loop here and here. And if I didn't do that with um, the intentions of being able to reconstruct it down to its lowest form again, it, it wouldn't have worked unless I did some uh, forethought there. I, I like this crease tool because it's, it, it's very non-destructible on the geometry. Okay? All right, and that is the crease tool within Maya and how to use it and why you would use it in later on workflows.